Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Doian campaign. We picked things up for episode 4 from turn 18 in the winter season of 193. So as we hop back in, we're still in the trade-off phase of the game where we are suffering. We have one year, five turns, before we have to um, inherit the faction to get the most bonuses. And that means we have to try to finish as many tasks as we can, at least the ones that I want to finish. Uh, there's a few that I don't really care about, and there's one that's pretty much impossible. I think to get duels with your heir, we either have to switch heir, uh, we also need to win the duels, or we have to uh, perhaps play this on records mode, where you can just run your unit, including the cavalry that's with your leader, into an enemy general with their cavalry, and that's considered a duel, and you can you know easily win three of those. But for romance, that's pretty much impossible. So we're not really going to go for this. Uh, the bonus is not terrible. Uh, it's a re no, it's the recruitment post. Oh, it is a replenishment bonus. Um, not bad. Basically, the army that you know Liu Zhang has will always be replenished, and any other army in the same county would also be replenished. So perhaps it makes for fast recruitment. Um, yeah, it's not terrible, but I don't think we'll see that happening. Alright, so back to the task at hand. We need two more territories and we also need to meet two more factions. So she's floating out here, dying, literally dying of no supplies. But she's gonna keep sailing because we want to meet two factions. And the two that I have in mind is potentially a Liu Yao. For sure we can meet him. And maybe Yan Bai Hu will be over here. Um, there's also... Wait, is he... He's blocking the river? Come on, my friend. Um, well, it's gonna be fine. Uh, it's gonna resolve next turn. He's not gonna attack us. We're friendly. And we can keep moving from there. So that's that. We were thinking about recruiting her. She's rank 4, so it's a bit high. Uh, but she's assassin. She will potentially eventually have poison volley. She has humble, uh, which adds satisfaction. And no desire for higher office, so level 4 shouldn't even matter here. So let's snatch her up and let's see what her attitude to our us is 46 with recently hired. Okay, so that's obviously going to come down as turn progresses, but we can definitely use her right now. We got an item. We got angry officers. We got rebellion sparking. Uh, not anymore because we took out the tax. Right, we took out the tax. Okay, so we're going to move closer to uh, recapture the salt mine here. I think we can just be right here on our side. I don't think Utugul's army can make it up here that fast. Oh, are we not on our side? That is most unfortunate. Um, that's not terrible uh, if we consider... All I really want to do is hire a little bit more generals. Okay, so she could come out and fight for us. Our wife need to go back and quickly help the whole faction out. I was hoping to get Yijin. And... Oh, wait. They can help out here. We have two other generals. I guess I can put them here when the rebels come, or I can just walk them down. So that we're not going to have any rebels anytime soon. We could change that. Hmm. But I don't think we need to. I'm going to move him. Closer as well, although he probably can't make it. Uh, get more supplies in there, that's fine. 21, 21, 12. My gosh. So... 
We need to fill these two positions next turn. Whoever's unhappy will get them. Alright, we're not rushing, but we might rush whenever we meet two new factions and get two more pieces of land. So in a few turns, maybe. And meanwhile, we're not going to build anything well the, you know, amount of time it takes as two extra turns on it. I think we can just proceed, assuming there's no deals to be made. It's not terrible. Yeah, we're really in the business of taking every cent we can get from people. Yeah, you never know how much more you can ask for. There we go. We currently don't have a trade here because we lost the port, but we'll get it back and it'll be back on, so we'll keep that one. That's not too hard to form, actually. A coalition with him would solve all the vision issue. We would meet Yuan Shu for sure, maybe even Cao Cao. He Yi's faction. So here. Let's see. We're already giving him food. Item will be the easiest. One silver, one bronze would do it. Hmm. Okay. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna get a coalition going. So which bronze item are we taking away from people? Probably this. And between these two, prefer the glaive. And that's perfect. And that's the vision we needed. He Yi Huang Zu Yuan Shu. Completed. Okay, we can even summon back the general that's floating out there. She needs to be recalled back on, I guess, coalition partner land. I think that could work. We'll land her. I guess foreign doesn't work. Yeah, we'll try to get her back next turn. It's not... I mean, she can take the same route back if it's, that's the case. Anyhow, um, that solves one more of our mission, so let's just continue here. Oh, Matong wants the wooden dog, but only willing to pay 29, so nope. Alright, Wutuku is racing back. Hmm. We don't have enough to face him. Oh, you ranked up. Why? Why did you rank up? Gonna cause more issues. Our dear son. Alright, what can we get here? We've been moving down the military route. I don't know if we want to continue that. Replenishment's always nice, but as you can see, it's going to require a lot of reforms. Trade doesn't work because we don't have a harbor right now. Altrop's got nerfed so much, and we don't really have a vanguard, do we? 
Right, so that satisfaction boosts nobody. Alright, I'm gonna... Probably just come down this way. And take not... Oh. Melee infantry. We're not recruiting any melee infantry as far as I can... I can think about. I'm going to just grab this one and try to get this next. That would actually help with the two mustering turns. How do we beat this army? Well, the general, we can use our general to tame. Question is, how do we... Right, we don't really want them to get the extra garrison help, so we do want to wipe it. But then they would be in range to hit us. And we can't really do anything to stop that. Now, can we? And it's kind of too late to recruit our army. Hmm. I can snatch it and then peace out with them. It's not impossible. Difficult, but not impossible. And then we take this from Sini, and then we're done with the war. That might be the only way. And we can't recall you, right? Yep, we cannot recall her. He has to get back home. Alright, ignore her. Still gotta think about problem solving, but first we can give two positions over. Maybe we can debuff his army. But who's still angry with us? Okay, anyone else? Our son. But our son's is salary free. So giving him a position will be a 525 increase, not a 300 increase. So Yujin's gonna get it. And... Not him. Hmm. What if we move Cheng Gong up here and give our son an administrator slot? Well, he's currently on assignment. That wouldn't work. can also move... Hmm, just very expensive for family members. Like, the only one that would make sense would be him. And that would still be a 300 increase. I can put her here and then fire her. Oh, that's good, actually. I don't have to pay her. And I can get her out of the water because we, we don't want her there. So I want to buy an item. Oh. Can we get something else? No. Doesn't help. Doesn't help, doesn't help. I like this one. I don't like these. What if I move his army back a little? That way we can change the commander, and then they would have to give me something else. Ah, okay. We got something else. We got raids. This is still here. I might just buy the item and be done with it. Give me something else? Nope. Oh, now we got... Oh, we got the item one disappeared. Can we change it back? Ah, there we go. It's back. <laughs> Playing around with the different ways of doing this. Okay, so we'll just buy the item. That's really all I want. And then I don't want to pay her salary at all. So immediately... We're going to fire her, release her from service. That way she's even gone from the field. And we don't have to pay that upkeep. He stays here. I don't mind him being here because we can get cheaper recruitment um, of the units, which we might be thinking about doing right now. How do we take care of this? 
The terrain doesn't favor us. We could just recruit an army, I guess, to be fair, and just fight. Like, he can't... Oh, he can reach? Oh, that's on reach, so he can't hit us. That's fine. I can spam fire archers and some sort of front line. That's really all we need to win that. It's been our 6,000 here. General of the right. Upkeep for the army. Well, he's still using that. Um, if I gave him general of the left, I wouldn't be able to switch it to anything. Increase morale. Cost too much. Extra tower, extra 5%. Ooh, 400 salary though. Well, that's an interesting one. Superstitious trait. Oh, we don't get this very often. That's why. Chenggong's our administrator, right? Hmm, it's a weird combination. So, we just spend. I feel like we just pump out archers. Because we get fire arrows. That's really what kills Naman units. And we have fire arrows on every single one of them. We probably don't take any siege weapons because we're not fighting any actual sieging. Um, if they don't charge at us, it's okay too. Right? Maybe not. Maybe we want. Maybe we want some on his units. If we splurge here and get two. Our economy can take it. He doesn't have fire arrows, so I'll give it him to him. So they don't have it. Frontline wise, maybe two cavalry. Okay. You need to go back to take care of rebels. Okay, we beat him next turn. We only give ourselves one turn of mustering. Alright, that's that's the goal. Let's go. Got ourselves another weapon, which is great. Another silver item. A visor, another one capable of putting out fire archers on the field, and also a good administrator down the line. Yeah, very good administrator. High Empire. See, I vaguely remember someone telling me High Empire can't spy on you, which might be true. Another one capable of putting out fire archers on the field. And also High Empire. Also has Surplus Market. I'm tempted to grab both of them. Well, we don't have money to grab both, but we can maybe grab one. I can snatch another general. Well, he's about to leave us. Um, that's our best hope. Have them run into us. Catch him away from the city. And then we wipe the army. And then we wipe him. We would recruit her. And as for the negative income, I think we just get rid of these two. They won't help us in the fight. And she will have... Yeah, she will be probably one of the stronger ones alongside Yu Jin. 
Ooh, got a bow as well. You take that. Oh, you ranked up again? That's why the satisfaction is getting killed. Um. Sure. Hey in here. Hey in here, please. Alright, belly next turn. No one can really help him, but he can defend the city by himself, even if he has to loop. Alright, really just comes down to this. Come on, fall for it, fall for it. Uh, rebellion everywhere. Maybe we tone it down a little? Yeah, minus 14 we can handle. Let's do it. Here, take the level up. Nine points, okay. Oh, someone wants to join our coalition, but Noob already said no. That's fine. Alright, he actually moved that way. Oh. Our heir needs some encouragement and stricter guidance. Gentle encouragement, give them an experience boost. Strict encouragement, drop their satisfaction and give them character experience boost. Or push them to the limit. <laughs> he, he's pretty much at the limit. 10% is fine. 10% is fine. Alright, he went this way, which is actually interesting. Because now we can propose a trade. It's harvest season, we gotta hurry. Harvest, autumn winter right he also went this way as well the defense here hmm okay we gotta move we can take this and they marched away so he can't take both I can't take it back anymore two seasons after this I can move into two locations in two seasons after this so what I would want to do is First take this, with minimum casualties. They're a faster moving army. Yeah, we'll just delegate this, this is fine. He also can't even come back. Uh, we are in nigh territories. We're about to lose one, maybe, if he doesn't turn around. And now we can loop this way. Sure, we can't hold that, but... Um, Faction-wide bonus, I guess? Unbreakable will be helpful too, but... Faction-wide bonus first. Oh, he's even general of the right. Um... They can hold this against them if they do come back. We can also charge over there and trap them inside if it comes down to that as well. Hmm, not a bad garrison, just be open field. If we get a general in here, the only person we can recruit is him. Oh, he's unbreakable. Hmm. I think it's worth a try. Worth a try for sure. Now, how do we get 2,500 for rushing the building in winter? We'll figure something out. But first, we can't lose this. We can lose one more, but we can't lose that. Because we're at 9. That'll be 10. That'll be 9. Can we peace out by any chance? 9 points. Hmm. Let's Okay, so this would be the move, I think, if we peace out with them.
Hmm. First, we have to summon the general. We can't lose that. We would not need the expanse. Since we are piecing out, we don't need this army. We just need the money difference. We don't want to weaken it too much. Because the piece, the military balance would be different too. I can give him all the food if he wants. I can give him all the items he needs as well. So it doesn't hurt our usage. So we can trade away some of these as well. Okay, it's doable. It's doable. Um, we can... Whose item can we get rid of? That's actually worth something. Oh, the bow. So both worth 3.3. The glaive is worth 3.3. The horses are worth 3.3. We'll basically pay them tribute so they don't actually declare war on us. And we'll take care of them later. I actually kind of want to keep the glaive if we can. These two I don't really care too much about. Right, this is good. And then this entire army can disband, saving us money. And our hope and dream is basically on us holding this commander here with this general and them attacking this next turn. And then we should have some money left over to expand. Right, we, we will be able to do this in like just in time. I would recall this entire group. Because they would need to go put down some rebellions next turn. I might need to exempt taxes some places, like say Ba again. Oh, it'll hurt our food. Never mind, that can't happen. Yeah, so if there's a rebellion here, we'll deal with it. Maybe we'll put the tax change next turn. Okay, we should be fine. Let's continue here. Shamo could declare war. Okay, I don't care. He's so far away. Yeah, call for aid. Please help. Oh, too bad. Nobel's already said no. Alright, this is the hole that must happen for us to make this work. We have the general who's unbreakable, decked out in items, and a pretty decent retinue in an open field fight, I believe. Maybe in Kamen, but I think it's open field of... Uh, yeah. This one spear unit, no cavalry. It's really his performance. Liang Xing, let's go. Alrighty, so let's see what we can do. We would like to hide the army for a while and just use the speed to kind of whittle down the forces, the enemy forces first. Um, if it comes down to requiring a fire attack, We'll do that. Hide. There we go. Now, Liangxin is not a nobody. Liangxin was a general uh, in the Chang'an region who eventually will go on to kill Li Jue and uh, behead him and give the head over to Cao Cao. We avoid him and just try to kill as many enemy units as we can without dealing with the general too much. We have a cavalry unit, so we can probably deal with the enemy general with the cavalry unit. 
So we don't want to take any range damage if we can avoid that. We also don't want to get dismounted, of course. The fact that he's unbreakable is amazing. Being stubborn comes with its perks. Now I gotta wait till that spear is kind of out of everyone's way. I don't want to be running into like one spear unit to dismount me. That would be the worst. It'd also be nice if I'm not constantly charging uphill. There we go. Mow them down. Mow them down. Three kills on the range units. Come on. Make sure they route completely. Spear incoming back. Change direction. Hop out this way. That was a great charge. Now let's make sure they don't come back. He's probably a little bit tired. No, he's still fresh. Oh, wow, good job. Most of them are here. I charge over here. And then charge through that. Charge through, charge through, use the horse, not the axe. Let's see if we can charge through out here. Maybe go this way. Okay, I don't want to get tangled up. Too many spears on the field. Okay, that should open things up for us. Hack them when they're running. There we go. Kill off their last range. Ooh, I see spear, but they're not really braced facing us. Ooh, that's... <laughs> I mean, when they say horses were the tanks of this period, that, that one felt pretty literal there. We literally just mow down a row of enemies. Okay, I just want to kill this slinger, and then we're good. Then we can march our army out and face them head on. Come on, route. You can beat her too. I have a weapon. What do you have? Ooh, she has ability. Back off, back off. Boys and girls, time to show up. Hello. You guys are not braced. Target her. Target that. I'll take care of the router unit. And I think this is a win. And we wipe out Si Hu's faction. Or Si Ni's faction, not Si Hu's faction. She's stalling us. We destroyed this down to about tw um, 12 units? No, 24 units? 10%, no, 12 units. And then they will be just wiped. Here comes the cavalry, but we gotta wait for the spear units to isolate themselves. You're our target. He's unbreakable. Wow. Alright, chase them down. 
Everyone come here. Hunt her down. Alright, we killed all the spear. You just have to kill her now. When Unbreakable is a curse for her and a blessing for us. down. There we go. Alright, that was a crucial hold. And with that hold, we should be able to get our 10 territories. Alrighty, so, Shamoka's new war. Sinister plot. One of your advisors comes with the idea that you should remove the powerful from your land. That is what happened in 191. Yeah, they will upset the local lords who might fear their own position. This is what led to Jia Long and Ren Qi's rebellion. Um. Wow. That's the new assassin we picked up. We can't. Mm, we don't need this money right now, actually. We'll be fine. We'll be perfect in terms of how much money we need, so it's fine. We don't need this. We're gonna do nothing. The historical path will be this. I can't I can't take 15 satisfaction hits. Technically, we are gonna inherit this turn. So this could be just free money, because we're gonna get rid of 20 points of satisfaction issue this turn. But I don't need that money. I'd rather everyone be happy with me going forward. Like 15 points happier, even though, you know, it would be fine, but still. So we just do nothing here. And we take this, which is really important. I'm just going to delegate this one. This should give us 10 territories. So everything's done except for the level 6 city. And we just got enough money from fighting that battle to rush this down. Well, we had enough money anyways, but we can rush this down now. And that finished the level 6 city. We're not we're never gonna get the three duels, and we're never gonna have enough money for three armies. And, like, there's no point. Like, the bonuses we get here for recruitment costs and for replenishment, like I said from turn one, these two are the least powerful two that I'm looking forward to. I mean, they're not weak. Like, sure, I can see a rationale where, you know, Dojang's gonna be the beacon of recruitment. You recruit a cheap army just by having him sent there, and then all of them get ready really, really quickly. Wonderful. But the price we have to pay to get this done in time, with all the trade off turned on, it's just too much. Like if you're playing like an optimal campaign where you're going for all the tasks, then you don't want any trade-off and you just want to finish everything and then, you know, easily transition into a late game where you can build up your aspirations through tall commanderies and so forth and then you have everything. But this is not that campaign. This is the challenge campaign and we have finished challenging ourselves and we can just hit this and be done with it. Inheritance triggered. Nay, new leader. Alright. It's a new day. And no one's angry in the court. We don't have an heir, so there's still room for bonuses. Our brothers can be good heirs. That's true. Like right now, Liu Yan doesn't have his new bonuses. This is still his old one. So it's not that great. And our unique generals don't have good bonuses either. So it's really our brothers to gain here. Like, sure, everything sucks. But he will have good authority. 
and he will have room to grow with three abilities. And then we can also get, oh, we can also marry. Okay, so we can do a lot of things now. Like the money situation just improved. Everything improved immensely. Um, so he's a administrator of Shu. He has both skills already. Hmm. I'm going to take more discounting. Alright, all these are done. I'm going to take more authority. Alright, we need to revisit everything now. Ah, <gasps> That's an interesting air choice. Hmm. We need to basically think about who's going to be our. Might be just our brother. Is Ma Chao still single? No, no, no. Check. Let's check. Yes, he is. Okay, so at this point, since our father is no longer the leader, we're going to have a say in who's going to be married to who. She's still part of the family because she has kids. That's the requirement. You don't need this anymore. I'm going to take it. Actually, no. My brother is going to take it as he will most likely be heir. I'm going to maximize his authority a little bit. He did great, but you don't need this anymore. You are also no longer leader. Oh, but we want... Oh, Liu Zhang has this. Wait. Right, I give it to him. That's right. Nothing's wrong there. Okay, we got the divorce. Now we want your son. Oh, he's happy to give him away. This is because he hates my <laughs> he hates my jaw. Uh okay, this is wonderful. Um He will also pay us for this. Uh how much food we, we'll come right back to this. How much food can we afford if we turn this down? One food. Well the thing is I don't need this to be level 6. Even though it's giving us aspiration, we don't need this aspiration right now. Don't go back to a city build. We can use our aspirations right away. Okay, so what do we want to do? Instantly level up a character. We probably just want to use all of these right away. Because that's why we went through all this pain to get 2,400 points. Ah... Uh. One army, one commandery. Uh, only one commandery? That's much weaker than I thought. We'll do this one first, get an item. Everyone gets character experience. Uh, my brother, so that he can get the air roll and do better things with it. We have no really better air here right now. Let me see where we stand. All of these are gone. We don't need any of them. He can solo this army. 
Well, I can solo this army. Let me fight this first. All right, we also get a tower. So that's great. And fire in case we need it. Um, they will shoot at me once we see them. Because we have no unit this time. But we have this. Where are they? Hello, people. Hello. My god, we actually can't find them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm blind, my bad. Hold on, I'm gonna wait till I'm rested. Yep, fresh and active, charge, block range. There we go. Easy route. And an easy win. Alrighty. I think I should have deleted those units first because that weakened my military standings for the diplomatic deals, but it shouldn't hurt us too much. We can use some payments here. We kept some of the units, just some archer militias. We can summon a few generals to make up for the difference. Because we still have to deal with these rebels over here. Old man, you're free. You're no longer leader. Do they have items? Nope. Delegate one here. Okay, and back here, does he have items? He does. Bodyguard. Okay. Can I kill them off again? Hey, even they know now it's heroic victory. Alright, we took care of most of the issues we had back here. And now we can ask for Ma Chao to come over here. Point nine. Yeah, we lost some points because of the deals. But we can offer one food and ask for some cash back 49 47 maybe 48 okay 48 it is so we get macho joining our faction and potentially as a family member and potentially no salary right free character with fondness because of marriage with some free items for us um his background is good for town units but we can't recruit any town units, and he comes with only two, so we're not going to really put that to good use. So he can't be, you know, leader. So I think I make my brother the leader, or heir for now, and then upgrade this. I think that's probably the best way here. Have we met Cao Cao's faction? But Cao Ren's also quite important. He married his mother away, which is interesting, or else we would have tried to grab her. We're missing a little bit of money to grab Wu Zhu, but we can grab him next turn, maybe? He would still be here next turn, I think. So basically there's no way this rebel group can take a level 5 or 6 town. I'm not concerned about that. Income wise we don't have to build like garbage again. We can build smart buildings like private workshop. Let's get rid of that. We are going to level up our brother. I think that's the smart thing to do. Like, 
upgrading our leader really doesn't... He has all the core skills. Timely inheritance, right? It's a trait. Oh, interesting. That's how you get the bonus. Right, so there's no point of, you know, trying to get him killed and putting Liu Yan back in command because you wouldn't have that trait. Liu Yan's already 63 too. Hmm, although getting one of the strong characters stronger... Hmm, they don't need it. Alright, our brother is going to get it. This will make everyone happier. Yeah. Mm. He goes from free character to not a free character. We'll do it before we... Before we um, hit next spring, I guess. That's the goal here. Uh, really depends on their satisfaction issue, right? So if they are evened out here, and we don't mess with them, we need the food. Okay, now we can start building everywhere once we have money, which we will slowly. Diplomatically, 1.8 for peace out with Don't Draw. We can wait a turn. It's going to come down slowly. He might even die soon, too. I am up. And then we're going to pass on all of that. We are going to boost our most lucrative city right now, Chengdu. And we are going to speed up... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe... Maybe we keep this. Let me see. What would be a logical build here? We have Salt, which maxes out 550 industry. And that's it. It's really a one income commander. It's not that great. If we keep the tax and say build the palace here, that's a lot of peasantry. All right, we're talking about 740 plus selling food here. 740, 1040. That's three buildings. Then the in state workshop, private workshop combo. It doesn't make a lot of sense, to be honest. Because this one never had population. It was really only a two-county place, so it's not even worth it in that regard. Right. I think we keep it small. We find a better place to build out. You know, Jianning is calling to us over there. So we demolish this. So we don't have anything to rush, you know, instant build. At least not this turn. And pay movement, there's no army that we need to move. So those we can save. And uh, we're good here. Let's end turn, see what happens. 3,600, yeah, we're good. Alrighty, so we downgraded this back to a city. That's why the food is neutral now. Um, private workshop should have been built a long time ago. We'll get that going. It's only one turn, it's really no need to rush. Wonderful item. So this will solve all our public order issue with population growth. So many people have been asking, you know, how do you deal with public order? You know, if you have a negative 100 all the time, spawning all these rebels, don't you just lose all your population? Well, yes. But that's why you put a good administrator in and you give that good administrator very, either very high resolve by being a champion or you give them something like a labor career. And then for each county you have, you get 8k counteract the, you know, loss. And then even at negative public order, you still get positive population growth. So that will help greatly here. 
they have built up a little bit. Bodyguard is not an item that I really must have, so I'm not going to spend too much time hunting it down. Uh, he needs to sit on the bench for a little while longer because I don't want to pay for those upkeep. We're going to summon our leader. This is strong enough. Maybe he will lead. Even though they have one turn to replenish, we should still delegate a win here. So let's do that. 72% to capture him. We are level 5, so that helps. He's still alive. Yeah, caught him. Alright, here's our bodyguard. And he's still on the field, I hope, which is great. Leader experience. So for him, it's his first victory. Lilian has his bonus before. Ooh. But I still want that. So we're going to come down here. We're not going to chase him and kill him. I want him to spawn potentially some new stuff. We're going to recruit Lu Zhi. Come help us. And we're going to build up a little bit before we set off to conquer the Naman tribes. Gamoko is waging war against us. Uh, does Dongjo want to peace out? Because I don't really want to fight him anymore. Perfect. It's even positive. Um... I'm going to bump up the tax so that we have a little bit of food to trade this turn. And we'll talk. Just want to give him... How much is he willing to pay? I'm just curious. Oh, he's not generous. Never mind. Then we'll fix the tax. We'll just take the piece. And tax comes comes down. We're gonna fix all the public order issues. We're gonna form a proper army back at home. And we'll go from there. Okay. Just taking stock of what we have. I can rush this upgrade, I think. So... The next building in... Langzhong. We'll finish in one turn. And that's going to be this. Not bad. And this is campaign movement. We don't need that right now. We'll save that for when we actually do need that. And we shouldn't have any public order issues, right? Yang Yang, that's from faction support. No big deal. I'm going to recall everyone and figure out who works well with who and form one army. Oh, 3,000 income. And obviously, we're going to return to war with Wutugu when we get that peace deal timed out. Food. Eight turns. We could even become a little bit untrustworthy to fight him. Or we can't wait eight turns. Build up a little bit first. Yeah, both, both could work. Both could work. They shouldn't be a threat anymore, so we'll also recall everyone. We'll do a big reset for 195. Right, 3,266, that's without jacking up the taxes. If we do jack up the taxes, can we take it, right? Ba would have, will struggle with this, so maybe one tier, because that's only minus six, that wouldn't rebel. So we can take that, and then we'll go into next turn with slightly more money. One point one become vassal. Yeah, right. Uh, potential marriage targets. We have a bunch of single brothers. Like we're single too. Ooh. A 
Okay, they're all single here. I mean, but, you know, we're related. We're all from the Liu clan. He's only five. Yuan Yang, Yuan Yao. That's all we see. Okay, no good targets. Right, so I think we just take the reset and uh, take us to next turn. I don't think we're building anything. Ye Ooh, yeah, why not? We do want to build this out. This requires building slots, so let's continue. All right, so the faction council is ready to convene if we put someone in there. Ceiling's willing to join us. Aside from him, got ourselves a thief. Greedy, vain, and tranquil thief. Far away from Poison Volley, so we're going to opt away from him. Tian Zheng. Okay. We'll probably pick up Ziling. Um We have finished our reset. We finished our inheritance. Spring of 151. Um, things are probably going to go well from this point on, I hope. Uh, we have a coalition partner with Liu Biao, and we're probably going to look to target the southern tribes next, uh, just because they're going to constantly harass us if we don't. If we want to secure T, want to secure some of the wealthy commanderies down here, we're very friendly with Ma Teng, we're very friendly with Liu Biao, so the expansion path to the north is limited, and uh, we just peace out with the Han Empire. Gongdu is a small threat. Um, if he does come down, we'll deal with him, but compared to how many tribes there are, I think we focus down south first. Things look a lot better. Uh, we're going to build out our first army, a real first army, um, sometime during this year. Maybe not right away, because we need some time to catch our breath, uh, figure out who we want to keep, who we want to throw away, uh, who doesn't need to do certain assignments anymore, and we need to build some economy, because we've been delaying that. So technically, let's just think of this as turn one of the campaign because we survived the brutal trade-off stage, and now we can start the game officially in Spring of 195 and see where we can go from here. So until then, bye!